If you've ever felt that Notion is way too complex to manage projects, plan your day, or take notes, then this video is for you. Today, I'm gonna to show you three free productivity apps that are easier to use and much more flexible. My name is Kevin, and on this channel, I show entrepreneurs like you the best tools you can use to make more, spend less, and work less. So the first tool I wanna to share is Xtiles, and they're sponsoring this segment. Xtiles is like a more visual and intuitive version of Notion. When I tried using Notion, it just felt really cluttered and complicated. I found myself spending more time trying to figure out how to to do things and organize things than actually doing the work. But that's where Xtile shines. It organizes things really intuitively into spaces, projects, pages, and then tiles. So spaces allow you to separate out the different areas of your life. For example, you can have a personal space and you can have a workspace. And if you wanna create a new space, just hit create space and type what you want. Say you wanted to separate out your hobbies, you can do so really easily. So within each space, you will see your projects and these organize all of the different things within that space you want to manage. So you can see in my personal space, I have a number of things here like meal prep and goals and planner and a trip and planning and finances, as well as within work, you can see there's all sorts of relevant projects for my work and my business. And I love how it's just visually organized so it's easy to see all of the projects that you're working on. To create a new project within your space, just hit new project and you can start from scratch or you can use one of the many templates. And there's templates for every single use case you can think of. So if you're organizing your personal life, you can make a vision board, a trip planner, habit planner, whatever you like. Of course, since this this is a work board. Let's say you wanted to plan some brainstorming. You got canvases here you can use, business model canvas or SWOT analysis, you consulting, task management, project management, basically anything you wanna organize, there is a template for if you wanna do that. So to give you an example, let's use this second brain template. When you click on it, you get a nice preview and you can see this has multiple pages. You can import this immediately or import it pre-filled. Let's do pre-filled. And so you can see right there, it just imported it. And what's awesome about Xtiles is you can just click and change anything you like. You can do that. There's different content types. You can see lists and everything and all of these things are actually called tiles and what's awesome is you can just drag new tiles so if I wanted to add an image I could do that so you can just drag boxes at any size you want and create content just like that I just click table or if you want more options you can grab it right from over here like say for example I want to embed one of my YouTube videos just paste your link and it's embedded, I can drag it bigger. It's really like just drawing on paper. Whatever you like, you can add to your project without being limited. If you compare that to Notion, you can only go in a top-down manner. You can't draw anything anywhere you want. You have to go just top-down, and at that point, why not just use Google Docs? And within each project, there are multiple pages, so you can add as many as you like, and you can even group these pages together to keep things even more organized. So that's the free-form way Xtile lets you organize your thoughts. So I find that really good for brainstorming and strategy work, but if you wanna manage projects and you want a little bit more rigor or you're working with other people, Xtiles has you covered with that as well. And it has a whole slate of project management features. So here you see a fully functional Kanban board so you can drag things in. If you're not familiar, Kanban boards are a really easy way to organize projects. And within any task, you can add more properties like a due date, you can add files, check boxes, anything, just like a full project management system. You can assign people to it. You can set a priority, all the features you would expect in a project management system. And if you prefer, you can even look at this in a table view instead of just a Kanban board. It's got a calendar and timeline view too. If you want to look at your tasks and due dates at a glance and to help you keep on track of everything and make sure things get done, the tasks bar here shows all the tasks that are assigned to you and others. And if you want to try Exiles for yourself, it has a really generous free plan. You get unlimited blocks and projects, 100 plus templates. You even get the collaboration feature and you can invite 10 guests, you get five pages per project, three spaces, unlimited storage. So a really great free plan. To get started, go to the Xtile site. I've linked it down below in the description of the video. And all you need to do is hit get started and you can create an account in 20 seconds. And if you do end up loving Xtiles and want to get some of the premium features in some of the paid plans, then use this coupon code to to get 25% off any annual plan. Next up is Before Sunset AI, which is probably the easiest 
easiest productivity planner out there. Planning your day is critical if you wanna maximize your productivity as an entrepreneur. Notion lets you create to-do lists, but they're basically just a bunch of bullet points, and at that point, why not just use the Notes app on your phone? Before Sunset AI takes it up a notch by not only doing task tracking, but it actually maps everything out on your calendar for you using AI. Let me show you how it works. First, just integrate your Google Calendar. It takes a few seconds and it will pull all of the meetings that you have in your calendar. Next, simply start creating your tasks. As you create your tasks, you can assign the amount of time you estimate it's gonna take. You can add a priorities, let's mark this one high priority. And you can even add a due date. Let's say we wanna do this today. And I'll add a few more tasks. And so you can see I've added things in both work and personal because as a busy person, you have a lot of things you need to do and there are a lot of responsibilities. Now, one thing I love here is it not only helps you create tasks, but it helps you make them more actionable. So if you hit the AI assistant button, first you can make this task more actionable hit that button and what it'll do is rewrite the task in a way that's more descriptive and actionable. You can see it made it create an outline for the content script, including key points and messaging. And the AI doesn't stop there. If you hit the AI assistant again and go create subtasks, it's going to create the subtasks for you. And so you can see right there, it just added a number of subtasks and it's really smart. Like even if I wanted to add subtasks to this one, just give it a few seconds and boom, it's just figured out what this task is and giving you reasonable steps you can take. So that's a really awesome feature I've never seen in a task tracker before. And then this is where the magic happens. All you need to do is hit plan my day and in a few seconds, it just dropped everything you need to do on your calendar. And so this way you can be sure that you're gonna get everything you need to get done because it's on your calendar and it helps keep you on task. And now if ever something doesn't get done or something ends up taking longer than you needed to, or you get distracted or something comes up, as things do in life, you can really easily just move a task. So you would just go to add date and let's say I wanna do this tomorrow, it's gone and now it's moved to tomorrow, or I could move it to rest of the week. And I find this just so simple and logical. It's like, let's focus on what we need to do today. There's other stuff I wanna do tomorrow. There's the rest of the week. And then there's later for like backlog items that you wanna to get to, but you don't need to get to it in any specific time period. And so what I like to do is I like to organize everything like this, and then I will pull in uh, from later to rest of the week, to tomorrow, to today, as they become priorities. And then every morning I use plan my day to map out my tasks for that day. And another feature I love is the focus mode. So if you hit focus with Oasis, it can help keep you on track for the task you're working on. So if I want to focus on this task, it creates a background for you and you can actually choose your own background. Just go to ambience generator and let's say you want, oh, I love Batman. So Gotham city hit generate. Let's see what it does and in a few seconds, it's actually gonna change your background to what you said. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. So you can write whatever it is you like and AI will make you a background for it. That's just a fun feature, but I really like this focus mode and then what helps you take it to the next level is you can actually use the timer. So you can say, hey, look, it's 30 minutes and you hit start. And then you can kind of just keep yourself on task and you can see, oh, how am I tracking against what I originally said I should be able to do this in? Because often we know how long a task will take us, but we screw around, we open other tabs, we check unnecessary emails, we mess around with our phones, all of that stuff instead of doing the task. And so this is kind of something that's keeping you a little bit honest. And you can also track your breaks just like this so you know how long you've been on break you know, if you just want to go get a coffee and it's supposed to be 10 minutes, but you know, you end up on the phone and you spend 45 minutes. So yeah, this is really important. And you're going to get analytics for all of these things, which can then help keep yourself accountable. And I'll show you those analytics. And at the end of the day, it has some cool analytics and it helps keep you motivated and lets you see how productive you've really been. And if you stuck to the plan and just like X-Tiles, Before Sunset also has a really generous free plan. You get to integrate one calendar, you get AI 
high assistant credits, you get unlimited to do's and subtasks, you can use the Oasis, you can do so many things, time tracking, get the analytics, you get a Slack integration, you get a really full featured experience just with the free plan. So if you wanna check it out yourself, just head over to the Before Sunset webpage, I've linked it down below, hit try for free and you can create your account in a few seconds. And if you do need some of the premium features like being able to integrate multiple calendars, then use the code SAVE25 to get 25% off any plan. Our final tool is Otter AI, which takes note taking to the next level by doing it automatically for you. As entrepreneurs, we juggle a lot of ideas, we're in a lot of meetings, and we have tons of tasks to do, so detailed note taking is essential if you don't wanna let anything slip through the cracks. And while you can take notes in Notion, you're doing everything automatically, and that's where Otter is different because it's actually going to take and summarize your notes for you. Let me show you three of my favorite ways to use it. First, I record voice notes whenever inspiration strikes me. I'm talking about whether I'm walking, driving, or even in the shower, Otter will take my voice notes, transcribe and summarize them so I can easily refer back to them later. As an entrepreneur, you never stop thinking about your business and sometimes I come up with a great idea or finally come up with a solution to a problem I've had and I wanna capture that before it's gone and Otter helps me do that. I just hit that blue button on my phone and it then transcribes everything I said and gives me a summary that I can easily refer to. Now, another way I love to use Otter is to have it join my meeting so it can transcribe and summarize everything. So it integrates with your calendar and it can join every meeting you set up if you give it the right permissions. And then once the meeting is over, it's going to create a detailed transcript of everything that was said and who said what. It's also going to have a summary. It's going to have action items, has an outline, and taking it to the next level, you can even ask Otter questions and it will read the transcript and give you the answer. So you could say something like, in this interview, for example, did he get external funding or did he bootstrap? And it gave you the answer based on this. When did he start the business? About seven years ago, seven years old. You see right there. And it kind of explained what he said. So this is a really great way to kind of refer back to any meeting you've been in and to even catch up on meetings that maybe you missed. This feature is completely amazing. And one final way I love to use Otter is it will allow you to import any audio or video file and then it will do exactly the same thing. So I'll create the summary, create the transcript, and as with everything you transcribe, you can actually use Otter's AI to ask it questions. And just like the previous two tools, Otter also has an amazing free plan. You can use the recording functionalities. It can join your meetings. You can use the AI chat. You can even add people to your workspace. You can use the Teams functions. And so again, it's a really generous free plan. To try out Otter, go to the Otter website. I've linked it down below for you. Hit start for free, sign up in a few seconds and you are good to go. And after you sign up, I also recommend you get the app if you want to do the voice recording on the go and it's available on both Android and Apple on your respective stores. To sum it up, here's a quick tip to help you decide which of these productivity apps are going to be the best fit for you. If you're looking for a more intuitive and flexible version of Notion that still has all of the creative functionality and project management capabilities, then Xtiles is going to be the best fit for you. The free form layout and customizable options really make it a more flexible solution. And if what you're mainly after is to better plan your day and to make note taking easier, then Before Sunset AI and Otter AI are going to be able to help you out there. They're going to automate a lot of the manual work for you and to make planning your day and note taking a breeze. But the best part is all three of them have really generous free plans. So you could try them all and see what really works best for you. All the links to sign up are included down below. If these free apps have convinced you that there's a way better way to manage your work than Notion, then do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more productivity tools just like this. And let me know in the comments if you end up trying any of these tools Tools, I'd love to know how it goes for you. Now, here's a playlist you can check out right now with the best productivity tools. I'll see you in there.